Hi, I'm Jane and today we're going to talk about blood glucose monitoring. It's important to regularly check your blood glucose levels if you are taking insulin or certain diabetes tablets as this will allow you to see whether the treatment you are taking is working for you. So how will you do this? You will have been given a blood glucose meter. There are lots of meters on the market so yours might not look exactly like this but they all work in a very similar way. You will need uh, uh, some testing strips uh, which are specific for the meter that you will have been given. You need a finger pricker and some lancets and you need a sharp spin. Before you do your blood glucose check, it is important to wash your hands and make sure they are thoroughly dry, as failing to do so may affect the test result. We do not recommend the use of wet wipes or alcohol gel. Once you have washed your hands, you are ready to do your test. You need to prepare your finger pricker. Your finger pricker might not look exactly like this, uh, but again, the principle will be the same. Take off or unscrew the end. Take your lancet and put it into the end of the finger pricker. Unscrew the protective cap on the end of the lancet. And you can throw that away. Put the lid back on the finger pricker. You will notice on the finger prickers there will be uh, a set of numbers. This is a depth gauge. The higher the number, the deeper the needle will go into the finger. We recommend you start with a depth gauge of one or two and if this doesn't give you a good enough sample, you can choose a higher number. The final step in the preparation of the pen is to pull the end of the pen out and release. The pen is now ready. The next thing you need to do is to take a strip. You must make sure that you have checked the expiry date on the pot of strips uh, before you use them and you must always make sure that the lid uh, on the pot of strips is kept closed. Take a strip and put the strip into the meter. This will turn the meter on. You are now ready to stab your finger and finish your blood test. So how do you take the blood sample? We take the blood from the tips of the fingers. It's good to take the blood from the sides of the tips of the fingers. Bunch the finger up with your thumb. Take your finger pricker and place the end of the finger pricker on the side of the finger. The finger pricker will have a button on the side. You need to press that button and that will allow the needle to stab the finger. Take the finger pricker away and put it down. Squeeze the tip of the finger until you see a blood drop. You then need to take your meter and you need to place the tip of the strip against the blood drop and hold it there for a few seconds until you hear the meter beep. The meter will then count down from five to zero and you will have your blood glucose reading displayed on the screen. You will need to dispose of your strip, simply take it out of the meter and that can be placed in your sharps bin. You will also need to dispose of the lancet from your finger pricking device. Simply unscrew the end, take the lancet out, and you will need to place that also into your sharp spin. A new lancet should be used each time you perform a gl blood glucose test. For comfort, you may wish to use a different finger each time you test. Your meter will store your blood glucose readings and there is more information about that in your pack. So when should you do your blood glucose tests? We recommend that you test before each main meal, so before breakfast, before lunch, before evening meal and also before bed. You will need to do extra tests if you are driving or you feel unwell. 
what should the test results be? Well, your healthcare professional will have set some targets specifically for you, but generally uh, we advise people to aim for levels of around four to seven millimoles before the three main meals and to aim for six to nine millimoles before going to bed. Please don't worry if when you first start testing your blood glucose readings are not within this range. Your diabetes team can help you to get these better. You need to keep a record of your blood glucose readings, whether you write the readings down in a blood glucose diary such as this, or you use a meter that connects to an app. Please look at your blood glucose readings on a regular basis and try and see where there are patterns or problem areas and think about what you might be able to do in order to put those problems right. This might mean that you have to think about changes you can make to your diet or your lifestyle or it might mean that we need to think about changing your treatment. I hope you found this video useful. If you need any further advice or support, give us a call on our Diabetes Helpline on 0116 258 4919 and the team will be happy to help.